Hi, this is Mike Christer, and we're going to be looking at a very interesting uh, situation in, in nature now. We've got a colony of ants, and they seem to have come out of their hole for some reason unknown, a mystery of nature. They've, but they've come out of their hole, and they've all marched, and they're in one particular spot. And if we can get a shot of what they look like on the ground, we can see that they're just like all clumped together, billions of them. <laughs> millions and millions of ants. How fascinating. What brought them here? Why do they all come to this one spot? Is this a religious ritual? No one knows. Is this is this some sort of feeding ritual? Are they sending are they sending ants out into the world and this is some some celebration for them to leave? No one knows. This is a true mystery. No one will truly understand why these ants have gathered in this spot. But we do know this, that they are here. And we're going to run some tests to see what might disperse these ants in a big hurry. With this magnifying glass, we can see the ants much clearer. You can see that they're in some sort of a frenzy, almost like sharks get. Are these small, tiny land sharks? Land sharks of nature. Little ants. Ants, ants everywhere. Look at the little ants moving around very fast. We are now taking an ordinary cigarette, which the heat is very hot, and we're going to put it near the ants. You can see that they're quickly vacating the area in which the cigarette is. We'll now pull the cigarette back and see if they return. Very cautiously. We'll now return the cigarette into another populated area. Again, quick dispersion. <laughs> All the ants. Uh, Mr. Christer, can you tell us some theory why these ants might be leaving? Maybe because the cigarette is very hot. <laughs> There you have it. Ants in nature. Nature at its best. And those little guys are okay. We didn't touch any of them with the matches or the cigarette. Except when we dropped them. <laughs> well, this is Mike Christer signing off for nature.